Invincible Boats 33. This is the smallest model they offer in the monohull configuration. This one's paired with twin V8 300s from Mercury Marine. Great combination for this boat. Tons of torque, tons of power. If you jump on, you see you have a transom door right here. Let me open this up. Let Eric in there. So it's your access if you're doing any diving or out at Samar with the family. Easy in and out. Take a look here. Good size live well. Midship transom. And this one in particular has a sink. So nice little setup. Get your stuff cleaned up if you're fishing, being able to organize yourself, put your rigs in there if you need in the meantime. Three pump sea chest here. Easy access to all your valves, pumps, any maintenance you need to do. Super easy. Very convenient to do there. And this one has another in deck live well, which is super nice to have. You want to divide up your baits or you just load up one day and that one center well in the transom doesn't do it for you. It's also sometimes easier to drop your cast net into a deck live well uh, compared to doing it in the transom well. So some people prefer this. So depending what you like to do, you have both options here. Good size fish box. You got two of those, one port, one starboard. And we'll make our way to the leaning post. This is one that they have added some things to. If you see here, they have this backrest. There's a retractable frigid rigid, which I believe there's this one button here. Go ahead and pull that out. So actually love this configuration. You can use it when you need it. You have a backrest that's comfortable, but when you're doing your fishing, you can go ahead and get this thing out of the way. And now you significantly increase your deck space. So also crack this open here and check out all the tackle storage you have, Plano boxes, whatever you like to stick in here, fluorocarbon, pliers, all the knickknacks you need, plenty of room for it. Drop this down, got a starboard piece there. You can use to use as a cutting board, rigging station, whatever you need. Very nice and clean, very functional as well. Got your powder coated white piping on this one. Goes with a very clean, uh, just overall look of the Invincible. You see many of them like this light blue, uh, painted underside of the hard top to color match the whole side, I believe on this one. And you see you have two 16 inch garments here. You have your vessel view, fusion head unit, ICOM radio, autopilot, your switch panel underneath here, which is comfortable. Another pad here, which is nice. JL audio speakers everywhere. You can sit here and this is a great place to do most of your navigating when, uh, when offshore. You got fresh water, salt water wash downs. Um, what else? Overall, classic setup, but very beautifully done. Gemlux outriggers on this one in particular. Uh, we'll jump down into the console. You know, simple, exactly what you need, none of what you don't. You got your head there, access to all your rigging. Ignition switches, you got some storage up towards the bow there. batteries as well that's magnetized so Eric jumps over and there's a clip there and we're off all right so we got nice bench sheet here on the console crack this open nice big kill box here you can use that for storage you can use that for your fish Everyone sets up their boat differently. Depends what you feel is comfortable for you. And these are basically storage on both sides. They have their ladder to hang off the transom mounted there. This one in particular. Um, you got a large fish box down the front there. This is removable rear bench seat. And I removed that to be able to open up additional storage underneath these. So these are optional if you wanted that forward seating. And then you get to utilize all that space underneath take these out or drop them in as you need them super comfortable upholstery is really nice on these boats we'll take a look at this huge box up at the bow as well before a 33 you got tons of room excellent finishes as you see with all the invincible boats rod holders 
all around. They integrated some cup holders. Got your anchor locker here up at the bow, obviously. Just a really nice setup in this 33 foot range. You can still run it with twin engines. Runs uh, very well. Actually didn't get the performance numbers exactly, so I don't want to say anything that's incorrect, but we'll find out and try to answer any questions that you may have. Um, actually, one thing that we have here, should, up here in the top, you can see there's rod holders along the console and they open up the holes here so you can extend the rod tips through there. Really nice to be able to hold your rods here. Uh, where that center of gravity is, they're not rocking around on your gunnels or up on even on the hard top sometimes. See what we have up here open array, Garmin radar, Gemlux carbon fiber outriggers, your antennas. It's a nice, it's a nice, uh, nice anchor light there. Hadn't seen that before. So, once again, I want to thank Invincible for giving us the time to walk through their boats and taking us out, showing them, showing us how they work, getting us out fishing and diving on them. And, We'd love to pass along that information to you guys. So um, ask us any questions you want in the comments. We'll do our best to answer them. And if you find value in what we're doing, please subscribe, pass this along to your friends, your family, let them know what we're doing. And hopefully this information will help you when you're ready to buy your next boat. So follow us on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, at Center Consoles Only. Thank you guys for your time and we'll see you again soon.